Hey there, thanks for joining. This is a, a series of text uh, mining videos for Rapid Miner. My name is Neil McGuigan, and you can visit my blog at vancouverdata.blogspot.com. Uh, last time I talked about uh, loading text into Rapid Miner, and this time I'm going to talk about processing text in Rapid Miner. So we're going to take uh, HTML from a job site, much like this, and basically look at uh, the word frequencies in all the documents. So I got about 400 documents. Okay, so for example, the word experience showed up in 232 of the documents 401 times. And also find uh, things like phrases like full time and customer service. Okay, so the way I'm going to do that is read the data from the documents, use the process document from data operator, and then strip out HTML. Uh, lowercase everything, tokenize, filter out stop words, generate engrams, and filter tokens. And I'm going to step through all those steps. Thanks. So I'm using the read operator, read database operator in Rapid Miner, grabbing a um, data from my SQL server. It's got about 400 rows um, of a single text field, which is uh, you know, page length HTML. Okay, and so what you want to do then. Uh, if you don't have the text processing operator installed, go to help and then uh, update Rapid Miner. And then you're going to want to grab the process documents from data operator, join up the text, and join up the word output. Okay, and then double click to go inside. And then since it's all HTML, I'm going to extract the HTML. So you can use the web mining operator. And the extract content operator there. And join that up. Okay, that'll strip out all the HTML. Um, you know, all the tags like that. And then tokenize. Tokenizing means turning a, a document into a list of words. Okay, and it's broken up at non letters. So dashes, spaces, apostrophes, that sort of thing. And then it's generally a good idea to put everything in lower case as well, or same case, so that you know, an uppercase word experience is uh, is going to be counted at the same as a lowercase word experience. Okay, and we're just going to look at the results here. Going back to the the process documents operator, I'm just going to turn off word vector for now and meta information. And then set the prune to absolute, with two as the minimum and a large number as the maximum. So this will just prune out um, words that only appear in one document. Okay, we'll leave all the other ones. Let's hit play and run that. Okay, so just sort by total occurrences. Okay, so we got all these words here, and to the uh, in. So those are all very common words that we'll, that we'll get rid of later. Uh, and then you got experience and a fair number of other common words, but no phrases for now. Okay, so if we go back to the process document operator, what we can do is use um, the stop word operator to get rid of very common words, which aren't going to add a lot of info to your analysis. Okay. Um, and then also going to filter or do um, filtering out some some of the words. So when you split um, on non letters, you're going to split on apostrophes. So anything that's got apostrophe s, just leave a bunch of single s's dangling, so we can get rid of those as well. Okay, so I'll uh, let's have a minimum characters of uh, two, and it's a big number for maximum. Let's play that. Okay, so now we've got rid of all the, um, all the stop words and single letters as well. Okay, so you can see that, you know, work experience is very important in all these documents. Um, you know, team, teamwork, uh, ears, all that sort of thing. Uh, it can also be useful to look for phrases though. So in Rapid Manor, that's called uh, engrams. 
Okay, so basically an n-gram is a, a two gram would be two tokens in a row, and a three gram would be three tokens in a row. So if it was the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog, then a three gram would be the quick brown, and then the next three gram would be quick brown fox. Okay, so let's um, let's do that. Okay, so now I'm going to generate all the three grams in the document. And when you generate n grams in Rapid Miner, um, if you generate a three gram, it'll generate all the one gram, two grams, and three grams, which is convenient. Okay, so now I've generated all those. Um, if we scroll down, we should find a couple of grams. So yeah, there's full time, customer service. Okay, these are all two grams so far. Communication skills, please send years experience. Yeah, please send resume, that's an example of a three gram. Okay. Now, <clears throat> you can also generate um, character grams, which is useful for certain languages like Chinese, where uh, a character is a whole word. Uh, but you can also use character grams to find similar documents um, just based on the character frequency, not necessarily the word frequency. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is uh, stemming. Okay, so stemming uh, basically gets rid of the uh, suffix suffixes of words. So you got um, like the word experience. Okay, there's a couple different forms. There's experienced, experiences, exp experiential. Is that a word? I don't know. <laughs> um, and then so it, it cuts it down to the root. So it would be like experi would, would be the, the basic root. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, and there's a few different stemming algorithms in uh, Rapid Miner. Porter's the most common one, so we'll just use that. Okay, so we've uh, turned it all into uh, st um, stemmed words. So yeah, there's Xperi, which is, uh, you know, represents all the different forms of experience. Uh, you know, that would be position, please, skills, requirements. So you can see that, it, uh, you know, work is now the number one word. So there's probably working and works and work before. Okay, so that is uh, basic text processing with Rapid Miner. What we're going to do uh, in the next video, I'm going to talk about word vectors and uh, using association rules. And then in uh, future videos, I'm going to talk about um, calculating document similarity and also categorizing, categorizing documents automatically. Right, thanks much. Bye-bye.